what we'll do is I'm gonna share my screen real quick. Boom. So here's what I did. Just typed in credit unions in South Carolina. Nothing crazy. Now, because I'm in South Florida where my computer might get a little weird on me sometimes and it shows me banks where I live because it's looking at my location, right? So if you're in South Carolina, you live there, you should get probably even more banks, right? But it looks like it's showing me the most popular banks in the major cities, I would assume, in South Carolina, right? So the first was South Carolina Federal Credit Union. Boom. I hit the website. I already saw a number there. So I would, you know, jot that down. And I try to see what they're promoting, right? They're promoting different stuff here. Okay. So when I'm looking for the debt tool, typically it's going to be under borrow. You see the credit cards. Cool. We can go there real quick. See what kind of credit cards they got. I got this platinum, platinum cash, world MasterCard. I like cash back rewards cards and the, and the points cards for velocity banking. Because typically we're recovering the, uh, the crash back each and every month to reduce our borrowing costs. So it says 1% cash back on everything. This is actually not really all that attractive, right? Because when you compare it to some of the bigger banks, now here's where I would say that the bigger banks often will have much better cash back rewards, points, and incentives, right? For the credit card itself. But credit unions typically will have that one unique thing which is the zero percent on balance transfers zero percent on the fee so no fee whatsoever to do a balance transfer and it's zero percent so that's something that's very unique with what you typically will only see with credit unions and uh the fact that you can pull money from the card consistently almost like a cash advance but without the additional interest and fees that come with a cash advance right that's typically only in Credit unions. Here's the next tool, personal line of credit, typically under loans. Need help with extra funds. Looking to make a big purchase, take a trip, pay tuition or repair your car. See how they sell it? They sell it to you to go into more debt, but that's not what we're doing with Velocity Banking. No, we're looking to pay off high interest debt, offset interest costs, increase our cash flow, and reduce our expenses on a monthly basis. Sell it to me that way. I'll buy that all day. But they don't do that because it's not typically that advantageous to teach you anything about personal finance. So it says personal line of credit can provide you with a line of credit for your financing needs. This account can also be used as a overdraft protection for your South Carolina federal checking account. No pre no prepayment penalty. Cool. Proof credit limit. You only need to apply once. Okay, nice. They already disclosed their max it was low as 500 to 25k. Their APR is as low as 12%. That's pretty high, you know, 12%. I'm pretty sure if I went to continue my research, I could probably find a lower rate, right? So I'll write that down for now, 12%. Okay, cool. Let's look at their other things. Boom, home equity lines of credit, low application and closing fees. Okay, so this does have closing costs. When you research other banks, some will have no closing costs whatsoever. Everyday low variable rate payment depends on amount of line used. So that means that their HELOC is most likely a principal and interest only payment, right? So it's principal and interest together. Typically the payments will be higher than a HELOC that just does interest only payments. Now I used to often create content in the past talking about how you want to have a principal and interest only payment. But then as I learned more about velocity banking, there really isn't much of a difference other than what's required at the end of each month on that due date. So if you have a interest only HELOC at 3.5% and a principal and interest HELOC at 3.5%, there is no difference as to the how that rate is being charged. It's just what is required, right? With an interest only debt tool, they're not requiring you to make any principal payments. With a principal and interest payment, they're requiring principal to be paid down on the tool itself. Right. So then it says that we can check the rates here. Let's see. Eh. So you got to put a bunch of information in. They're probably going to want to capture your email and stuff. Let's see what this is. Okay. That's on mortgages. Gotcha. So some banks have you go through some extra steps. We're not going to do all that here, but I'm just showing you here's, here's how I found my stuff. Right. And then finally we'll go to contact us. Boom. Saw the number, right? There's the different areas that they cover. Okay, cool. So we got multiple branches. Right. Here are all the locations and you compare it to where you live and you say, OK, boom, that's on my list. Get the address, get the phone number of that specific branch that I want to talk to. Right. Let's go back. Let's do the next bank. So let's do 
Carolina Trust Federal Credit Union. I had them all already opened up here. Look, the other thing I want you to pay attention to is the websites, how their websites look. If it looks very rinky dink, right? Very like, yo, like my 13 year old sister could have did this, right? If it, if it looks very, um, what's the word, right? I think I've already expressed how I feel about this website just based on my comments. That might tell you something about the mobility, the, the features and benefits, the user-friendly use of the online banking itself, right? That's important when we're doing velocity banking is, you know, take a look at the website and see how they're positioning themselves. This looks very, like, cheap, okay? So they got a personal line of credit here. And look, what they're offering is cheap. Overdraft line of credit also available up to $1,000, okay? So that might not be the same as a personal line of credit. So they're not giving us too much information. Let's view the rates here. HELOC rates as low as 5.75%. That's pretty high, right? It's a 15-year home equity line of credit. So the first 10 might be amort uh, revolving and then it changed to amortize or the whole 15 years might be revolving. But 5.75 is pretty high. You know, we could, we could most likely find something less. Now... Personal line of credit as low as 12%. So there they go again, 12%. I'm just gonna write that down. So, eh, I'm not that attracted. Let's keep going. Carolina Trust, Federal Credit Union. Let's see, let's do Cairo or, or Caro. Let's see, what the heck is that? Open a Casasa cash. Look at this, see, they put more work into this. Do you see how rinky-dink this site was? Rinky-dink, right? Come over here. They caught my attention with whatever the heck that word was. This might be an interesting bank to do business with, right? Let's go to loans because we're looking for the debt tool. So we go to home loans, boom. Very interesting how they put home equity line of credit as the second option. That's another interesting thing I pay attention to, right? Is I'm like, huh, most banks, they put their home equity line of credit or PLOC all the way at the bottom of the site and they typically don't even put too much details, right? But here we have this bank. They might know a thing or two about what we're trying to do. Maybe, I don't know. So it says access to power your home equity line of credit. You can get a you can get a HELOC card to spend your funds. See, see, I'm already something is is brewing inside of me already where I'm like, oh, okay. Look how they're using the language. They're saying velocity banking without even saying it, right? They're speaking in our in our language. Access the power of your home equity line of credit with a home equity card. That means I can pretty much automate velocity banking probably, but we're going to, you know, we'll call the bank, go through the steps and make sure you can use the card anywhere, just like your debit card. So I can use that card likely to make my car payment, other debt payments and any other expense. That means my money stays in the HELOC for a longer period of time, reducing the borrowing costs. Not bad. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we can find their rates. Don't see it. Maybe at the bottom here. Usually there's like a button somewhere that says our rates or rates. But you can put that on the list, right? Home equity line of credit. And then we just want to get more info. Then we'll go through the thing. Then we do... Uh, personal loans and it looks like they do not offer a personal line of credit but they do offer a HELOC so we'll put them on our list let's go back so I did Cairo I did South Florida credit uh, South Carolina Federal Credit Union we did Carolina trust let's go to Rev here another nice looking bank see higher quality makes me think that their debt tools will be higher quality lifestyle loans line of credit and lifestyle loans okay now they're selling it in a way to get you into more debt but that's okay, because you guys know better. You've been watching me. Applying for a line of credit. Um, ah, so we got to put in our information. We won't do that. See where it says rates. See all loan rates. Recreational, personal, line of credit. Boom. Ooh, 9.9%. So at this point, if you were in South Carolina and you're doing your research and you saw 12%, 12%, 12%, and then boom, after our fourth bank that we hit, this is why most people stop after they look for two banks and you missed out on a lower rate. So now 9.9% is our new low. Can we go lower? I don't know. Got to keep doing research. So they offer personal line of credit, $20,000 being the max or less, as low as 9.9%. Um, and that's obviously based on your credit worthiness. Okay. Then they have home equity line of credit here, but they want you to contact them to get more information, right? So they made it a little harder, 
Let me go to mortgage loans here. Let's see if they put it on here. HELOC loans. Got to be careful. There is such thing as a HE loan, a home equity loan, and then there's a home equity line of credit. So you always want to make sure you're crystal clear with whoever you're talking to. Hey, I'm looking to acquire a home equity line, not a loan, right? All right, so we wrote, we write that down. Rev Credit Union so far has the lowest interest rate on a PLOC in South Carolina, All right? Just based on the research we've done so far. Let's keep it going. And let me know, you guys enjoying this? Put this in the comments. Let me know, is this, is this helpful? In terms of in your own state, what you could be doing, you, you go on Google, you have your windows open, right? And you start opening up the different sites. Let me know if this is valuable. Here's another one. South Carolina National Guard federal credit union so you most likely probably have to be in the military national guard in order to qualify for this kind of stuff now here's the other thing i'll say depending on what state you're in what department you serve in government military fire department police department right typically there will be banks catered just to you and you will potentially get rates that you can't find anywhere else so if there's anyone here who served in the military, anyone here in the police department, fire department, government, right? Or maybe you work for a Fortune 500 uh, company that's that literally has maybe their own bank, their own credit union. Typically, you'll find HELOCs and, and PLOCs um, at rates that are unheard of, right? Because of the their niche, who they're serving exactly. So let's go to personal loans here. Boom. Line of credit. Boom. Credit limits up to 15K. Monthly payment is 3% of the outstanding balance, which is pretty high. We don't care for that. Loan rates in turn based on credit worthiness. They're not giving up what the rates are, but hey, if you're in the National Guard, you can put that on your list. Let's look at real estate loans, home equity loan, but we don't see any information on a home equity line, right? So you want to be careful. But again, you can put that on your list if you're in the National Guard in South Carolina. Boom. Let's look at this Santee Cooper Credit Union. Another nice looking website, loans, personal, checking line of credit. You gotta be careful with these words. Sometimes, often, a checking line of credit has much higher rates than a personal line of credit. So this bank seems to only offer what is called a checking line of credit. We don't know what the rates are, um, so you just wanna be careful with that. So it says, with a signature line of credit, you can have peace of mind knowing that your checking account has overdraft protection of those times when you need it most. Let's go to loan rates. See what they got here. Load, load, load. Come on. I think my computer is uh getting hot. Too many windows open probably. Come on. There we go. Oh, ooh, okay. Spoke too soon. Look at that. Signature line of credit. 7.99%. That's our new low. So we went from 12 to 9.9 to 7.99 being the lowest. Now, icing on the cake would be if the line is, you know, offering... Uh, a credit limit that's higher than the other ones, you know? And if not, that's cool. It just depends on our situation, right? Home equity loans at 5.5%, but they might have a home equity line of credit. So you got to pay attention to that. Those are the questions that you would ask once you get on, get someone on the line. So look at that. Santee is now in first place. So South Carolina State Federal Credit Union, is that the same as South Carolina Federal Credit Union? Let's find out. And then there's something called State Credit Union. And okay, where was I? Santee. Let's do this. CPM Federal Credit Union. Let's go to rates. Checking. Dot, dot, dot. Personal loan. Mortgage first. Arm. HELOC. Okay. Look at that. Variable. 10-year draw. 1.99. Introductory rate. How long? We don't know. So you would, you would evaluate. Hmm. Do I take a fixed rate at 5.99? If Velocity Banking tells me I can be debt-free within five to seven years or less, and I get 1.99 for the first year, how much more damage could I do up front? Because that's what it's about. It's the upfront damage that causes the long-term effect, right? So this is what we're, you know, constantly looking at. Let's see. I didn't see a personal line of credit. Go to loans, personal, personal, oh, line of credit as low as 9%. Ooh, okay. So that's not bad. CPM Federal Credit Union. Gotcha. Let's keep going. That state credit union, loans and credits, home equity line, cool. No closing costs, low AP, oh, look at that. Enjoy an introductory rate of 3.5. After one year, mm, that is juicy, 3.5% for one year. I like that. Rate will revert to the regular variable rate, maximum being 18%, cool. Bar up to 85% LTV, not bad, okay. 
no closing costs, no prepayment penalties, no annual fee. Oh, 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 not bad at all, guys. So this bank so far, oh, uh, the credit limit would need to be increased by at least 10000 to avoid closing costs. Okay, we're typically getting way more than that. Nice. For a limited time, mm, keyword, limited time. It's probably going to go away with uh, inflation continuously going up. So that makes sense. So if I'm in South Carolina and I have a home that has quite a bit of equity in it, I would argue so far state credit union looks very attractive. 3.5%, no closing costs, no annual fees, no prepayment penalty, right? And I get up to 85% of the home value minus existing mortgage, of course, right? Very attractive. And this is what I do. Look, I want you to, you know, go back when you watch this video again, and I want you to see how much time it took us to do this. Like, obviously, when I'm alone, not recording, I can go much faster, but I'm actually talking it through, going slow, showing you the different banks. What we, We've been spending, what, like 30 minutes or so doing this? So 30 minutes of your time to find the best bank. You're basically qualifying the bank before you even call them. So that's a great way of qualifying the bank. You do the research, look at the website, look at what they're offering, jot down the, you know, the numbers, phone numbers, the addresses, the different um, locations that they have. State Credit Union is in Columbia, South Carolina, so that must be a major city. I think the other one is Charleston. I think that's like right here. So yeah, not bad at all. Let's see, Palmetto. We haven't hit them up yet. Palmetto doesn't look too bad. What is the hotheads challenge? Interesting. I like banks that do stuff like that. You know, they like throw interesting stuff your way. Okay, so doesn't look like they have a line of credit. And I'm not seeing home equity line of credit. But let's see if it shows it in their rates. Hmm, that's probably why I didn't write them on the board. So notice how this bank doesn't even show it. Doesn't mean they don't offer it. I've learned that too a couple times. But it's not so attractive at the moment. Now there was another bank that I have found... I don't see on the list here. So it's called Founders Federal Credit Union. That was one that I wrote down. I don't think we hit that up yet. Let's go to personal. Oh, personal line of credit. Look at that. Relax. Your money is there. Interesting. They want to be funny. Okay. Ooh, 9.9. .9. Okay. That was very similar to that other bank at 9.9. .9. So you got some competition. I'm getting a military vibe from this website, but I'm not sure. All right. Cool, cool, cool. And then they also had... Home equity line. Relax. Use your equity. <laughs> yeah, look at that. This bank wants to be funny. As low as 5.5%. Eh, okay. It might be worth considering, but so far state credit union still has the better deal, right? So again, you're doing you're doing your research. You're calling the banks. You're going to the source and you're asking the source, how do I get approved for these things? Right? Now, in addition to everything we did here, especially for my new people. You're going to want to hit this playlist all about the line of credit. I go in depth, in depth, how to get a personal line of credit, the best personal line of credit. What is a line of credit? Multiple lines of credit, requirements for a line of credit, how to use a line of credit, what to avoid with a line of credit, how much you should apply for a line of credit, how many credit lines should you have? What do you need the line of credit for? Now that is a really good video to watch when you've gotten to the process where you've qualified the bank, you've qualified the line of credit, you've positioned yourself, you've gotten all the data and you're ready to get approved, you're ready to apply for the line of credit, one of the questions they will ask you is, what do you need the line of credit for? Based on this answer could make or break you, right? If you say, I want the line of credit to start a business, uh, red flag, never say that. Um, I want the line of credit so I can do velocity banking because this kid on YouTube who I don't know and never met named Denzel, not Washington, um, told me that you know i could pay off my mortgage in in less than five years the bank is going to be like what and look at you with three heads so you don't say that either you don't say i'm i'm getting this line of credit so i can do velocity banking so i can pay off all my debt and pay less interest so you guys profit less uh no we don't say that watch that video you'll get an in-depth on what to say right one of the key things we say i'm looking to get the line of credit to pay off some debt reduce my expenses, increase cash flow, and build my credit. Very simple, nothing crazy. Those four key components. I'm just looking to pay off my debt. I got some debts I want to get rid of, consolidate, 
You have to speak bank language. I'm looking to consolidate. They love that word. Looking to consolidate some debt, pay off some debt, and uh, just kind of, you know, reduce expenses and increase my cash flow, put myself in a better, you know, position overall. And I'm also looking to use this line to build my credit as well. Bomb. No red flags. Okay. This video is great preparing to obtain a line of credit, right? This is great because once you found the bank, qualified the bank, you got all the details, right? You're getting ready to apply. Um, before you apply, one of the things that you're gonna have to do is open up a checking and a savings with that bank. That is a form of establishing rapport and a relationship with the bank. Now you're not just doing it just to do it, but it's gonna help you do velocity banking faster because if all your income paychecks and bills are coming out of the same bank that you have your line of credit at, then you don't have to do external transfers and potentially pay unnecessary fees to do velocity banking. So that is a primary video you're going to want to watch. Another video on how to use a line of credit, how to qualify the line of credit. So I, uh, years ago, I did this, how to qualify the line of credit. And so here I am doing it again. And then it says how to get a line of credit in a crisis, right? Are we not in a crisis? Yeah, you know, COVID, high inflation, we're in a recession. Um, yeah, we're in a crisis. So you're going to want to watch that video as well. So that's powerful. Then if you want to really position yourself, here are tons and tons of case studies going as far back as 2018 to as late as this year on, <coughs> excuse me, on how to get the, uh, how to do velocity banking all the different debt tools, right? Multiple case studies, guys, multiple case studies, dating all the way back, 2018 up until now, how people all across the United States are doing velocity banking effectively. And then this is a phenomenal playlist on velocity banking in a crisis, right? And when you go to my YouTube channel, you click playlist, you'll find these things. So I talk about, you know, how velocity banking works, in a crisis, how we pivot, how we prepare, how do we position, all that stuff. So these three playlists are critical, right? And that was that bank. I can close that out. We went over the most attractive banks there. We did good stuff. We did some good work here. So I'm going to take it back to the board. And that's how you best prepare, right? Best prepare for what we're trying to do.